It has been a couple of months since high resolution cameras and license plate readers were installed on the south side. And today, Allegheny County District Attorney Stephen Zappala is showing us how they work. Megan Schiller explains. Prosecutors want you to know if you're up to no good in the south side, you'll likely be caught on camera. We counted at least six or seven cameras alone on Mike and Tony's gyro shop. The bar next door, the flats on Carson, has at least three, and there's two posted up on the city's light pole. To have only 400 and some incidents, that's, that's a good number. And you're going in the right direction. For the last couple of years, you were going in the wrong direction. The best evidence is evidence a jury can see. That's why District Attorney Steven Zappala wants to capture crimes on camera. For the first quarter of 20, 2017, before the cameras were in, to the first quarter of 2018, we've reduced crime 37% on the south side. Like what's captured in this chilling video. The exact moment Pittsburgh restaurant owner Adnan Pelavon allegedly began stalking his victim on the south side. These cameras captured it all before he allegedly broke into the victim's home and sexually assaulted her. Prosecutors presented this video in court. Or crazy moments like this one caught on camera a drunk motorcyclist allegedly assaulting two people. The undercover cops swiftly kicking his bike out from underneath him as the suspect tried to get away. Zapala said just last week, investigators used the county's new license plate cameras to locate the alleged killer of Carrick's Kevin Thompson. They spotted the white Cadillac on the cameras at Pioneer and West Liberty. The uh, defendant in that case at some point stole uh, the victim's car. Uh, he had used the car. We actually picked the car up 76 times over the last 17 days uh, before the time of the murder, mostly in the South Hills. Police will present this video in court as Thompson's alleged killer, John Dickinson, goes to trial for allegedly murdering him and dismembering his body inside this Carrick home. Those cameras, not in residential areas, will capture suspects at main intersections. And we are very acutely aware of people's concerns about privacy issues and that type of thing. And it's rare that we get into residential neighborhoods. We're mostly in commercial, commercial ways. The total number of cameras will continue to expand beyond the south side. They've secured up to 450 cameras in 75 spots across the county, capturing criminals in high resolution, as clear as the picture on your television. And they say even though the cameras do come in handy on Friday and Saturday nights, they're great for business owners and for people that are out here during the day. Reporting on the south side, Megan Schiller, KDKA TV News.